China has spent billions of dollars trying to catch up to the world's most advanced chip makers. But recently, some Chinese startups announced failure. Let's take a look at possible reasons they aren't succeeding. China's dream of competing with chip makers TSMC and Samsung has failed recently. Officials injected hundreds of millions of dollars to support two semiconductor projects in Wuhan and Jinan, but neither ever commercially built any chips. If we say oil is the industrial blood of a country, chips are the industrial brains. So the chip manufacturing technologies represent countries' overall scientific and technological strength. China Affairs analyst Jingyuan Tang says making more semiconductors is a vital priority for China because China has the greatest chip demand in the world. China now makes nearly 1.2 billion mobile phones and 350 million computers a year, which drives one-third of the global demand for semiconductors. But China's self-sufficiency rate from domestic chips is only less than 30 percent. It especially lacks high-end chips. But based on company statements and local government documents, over the past three years, at least six chip-building projects in China, including the ones in Wuhan and Jinan, have failed. What's holding them back? Tong says one reason is that China's industrial base is weak and lacks high-end chip-making experts. The CCP's economic model for many years has always been seeking quick success and instant benefits. With semiconductors, it requires a long-term and large investment. The CCP did not take it seriously in the early stage. Later, the CCP realized the importance of it and started to try to catch up in a very short time. But without a sound foundation, it's like building a high-rise building on the sand. He says the second reason is China's political and economic system, which doesn't foster an innovative environment. In China, all such high-level strategic projects get state capital investments, which leads to political officials guiding science development, amateurs leading professionals. The negative result is that China cannot effectively innovate. Tong says chip development is tied to government performance. Therefore, officials are afraid of or even stop innovation when making decisions. Because innovation contains risk and responsibility. In contrast, low-risk projects are encouraged eventually, and the whole situation curbs innovation. Faye Quarter, NTD News.